Welcome to a review of HO scale model of Czech State Railway sleeping car class WLABMZ 826 by LS model. Premium quality packaging, standard for LS model. Pamphlet explaining the location of all the small parts. Nice good quality foam and the car is wrapped in the plastic foil plus two sachets of small parts. We'll talk about them a little bit later. LS model released several different cars with the uh, classic big dipper paint scheme. And the cars are named after different uh, cities in Czech Republic. This is the city of Prague car with nicely executed graphics of some of the city's landmark on the right hand side. One of the standing out feature of this model is the number and the level of detailing at the bottom of the car. One of the great features of, of this model, like most of the passenger cars from uh, LS models, is the painted and detailed uh, interior. You can clearly see here the painted um, access doors to passengers' compartments on the corridor side. And on the compartment side you can see of course some of the tables and in the background you can also see some of the uh, chairs against the wall. The front end of the car, the transition plates are of course retractable. and. Uh, Slightly spring loaded transitions between the cars, two red lenses at the end. Uh, the only comment I have and I'm not necessarily too impressed with is that plastic uh, handrail that is in my opinion looking a little bit too heavy for, uh, for this scale. Uh, you can see the attention to detail and the number of small parts here on the suspension and the frames is absolutely fantastic. The entire bottom part of the model is fully detailed. On the uh, axles you can see the three discs uh, included uh, braking system and uh, brake pads on the discs. Like for most of the new generation uh, of HR models the tracks are snap on. All you need to do is just simply rock them and uh, pull them gently out of the sockets here. You can clearly see now the this breaks all six of them on both axles. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Uh, this is classic uh, snap-on shell design. There's no screws. Uh, I'm using two keys, which I have from another model uh, from LS. Uh, you have to be very careful when you open them, especially uh, because of the small elements on the frame. So make sure you don't damage any of these small uh, displays as you try to put the um, keys in between the shell and the frame. The best way to do it is, is just to have the one side released first and then I usually keep one, one of the keys to make sure so this side doesn't clip back in. Then you flip it and you start releasing the other side slowly. You can see already popped out. And again, very careful here around the brake control systems and here we go shell is coming off. And you can see inside in the shell the latching mechanism here. You can also see the shades here which are covering the windows on the other side. The lenses at the end of the train are red so you can install white or uh, red LEDs at the end of the train. 
On the corridor side you can clearly see the dividing walls painted different color with the reservation tags and the seat assignments numbers, printed doors on the wall and this is the access to first compartment which is the service compartment behind this wall and the small restroom. The interior of the model is coming around in a daytime mode with sitting accommodations. Uh, you can see the banks of uh, three chairs in every compartment. And there is a super cool way of rearranging the entire interior into night mode into sleeping accommodation. First, we remove the dividing walls. Then the chairs. And then the model is coming with the two sachets of uh, small parts. One of them contains a lot of plastic beds. And there are three kinds of beds. A single one, the two pins at the bottom. And then two double beds with two different cutouts in the middle. The long one is going first. You can see small knobs on the back of the wall. These are the points where you rest the beds against. And that's the second one. Now once you remove the table, you notice two small slots in the floor on the right hand side. They are for the ladders which are included with the set. To install the ladders, first take the top bed off. Then take one of the ladders and you can see the little notch here on the top of the ladder. There is a little crest line right here. And what you need to do is to bend this piece, that little notch, out a little bit more than 90 degrees. Set up the ladder in the spot. Press down. And then with the top bed missing, bend forward right at the base. What you have on the back side of the of the top bed is a couple of notches. You can see them right here. And that's where that small piece from the ladder is going to go in between and hold the ladder. And this is what you want to end up with with that metal piece right in between the notches on the bed pressing against the frame of the bed. In addition, yeah, you can also connect first two compartments together by removing the dividing wall. Included with the model are two sachets full of uh, small parts, one containing the beds and some small uh, suspension parts, as well as air hoses and old style standard couplers. The second sachet contains uh, metal parts, included electrical pickups for uh, interior lights. That's the new generation. And the ladders. So quick conclusion, another fantastic model from LS Models. I have several models from them and uh, every single time I open a new box I have a nice smile on my face. Uh, the only thing that I will call out on this model is the size of this railing here uh, on the side. I think it's too heavy. Other than that, fantastic model, great interior, great paint scheme and uh, quality of paint lots of details and as you can see it looks absolutely fantastic on the layout as well and that's most important at least to me uh, so happy model railroading uh, thank you very much